Okay, so this is an addendum to, to yesterday's talk by David proving this example that he mentioned. So um, let me remind you of the setting where we're comparing two methods of doing regular logic. One is diagram-based regular logic and the other is text-based regular logic. Um, so what we'll do, we, we set up the comparison between them yesterday, but what we'll do is try and give you a sense of an argument in diagram-based regular logic and why it works. So the argument we're going to give takes these five facts. Um, we will have that if two people work in the same small company, then they are acquainted. We have that it's true that David works at CI, and it's true that Ryan works at CFI, and that CI is a small company. And lastly, we have this technical fact that CI is just one company, so you can uh, use it twice. Okay. Well, if you, if you have two copies of CI, it's the same as having one CI and just saying that actually this is both CI. Um, okay, so the goal will be to prove down here that David and Ryan are acquainted. And just so you can see how this compares to the text-based formalism, we have written the comparison text statements in, in orange here. So for example, this axiom 1 which says that if two people work in a small company, then they are acquainted, is translated in regular logic in, in the text-based form in this way. There exists a company, C1, which is a company, and S1, S2, that are salaries, um, such that C is a small company, uh, P1, sorry, if this is true, if P1, C, if person P1 works at company C for salary S1, and person P2 works at company C for salary C2, uh, S2, then person P and person P1 and person P2 are acquainted. Okay, and, and so, um, so So here's the, the diagrammatic version for comparison once again. Okay, and just in case you haven't had a, a chance to look at it closely yet, here's the goal theorem. Um, we want to prove that it's true that David and Ryan are acquainted, or in, in this state, in, uh, in the text-based formalism, in the empty context, it's true that there exists two people, uh, P1 and P2, where P1 is David, P2 is Ryan, and P1 and P2 are acquainted. Okay, so let's move on to first two letters, or one and a half levers and then the proof. Okay. So the, the first lever uh, I want to, to point out is, is just a small technical issue that says that we, we had this axiom 5 that said uh, these, basically these two arrows can be combined. We call this individuality for, for CI. So if you get one version of CI there, another version of CI there, they're actually the same version. And this means, if we, and this lever says we can do this three times. If we have three copies of CI, in fact, it's the same as having one copy of CI and then splitting that two times. So um, now, now if you if you remind yourself of the formalism we use, this this is really a picture where we have this operand cospan over some types where the types are. Uh, company and person and salary in this case and then we have this opera this co-cartesian opera functor from cospan to the opera the co-cartesian opera of meat semi-analysis and so there's this this fact that we can reason locally in these diagrams where we can take some part and we know that this axiom implies sorry this diagram is less than this diagram so when we put place that into a larger context, we can still apply that. Um, so we're calling that locality, and what that follows from is uh, the fact that we have an opera functor from cospan to meet semi-lattices, and that the maps in meet semi-lattice are monotone maps, so they're they preserve order. So back to this lemma. Well, what we're doing here is just using our, our fact 5 locally 
in the first case, so which replaces these two things with this thing and the split, so this part here, then we select out this local section, ignoring this part, and we apply lemma five, uh, fact 5 again to get this region here. Um, and then once we've done that, uh, this, this diagram here, this sort of twice forking thing, is really exactly the same co-span as, as this thing here. Um, so that proves the lemma. Three, three, three copies of CI can be thought of as one copy of CI, which branched three times. OK, so that's a warm up for the proof of the main theorem. And remember, the main theorem that we're going to prove using these facts one to five is that true, it is true that David and Ryan are acquainted. So the proof has one, two, three, four, five steps. Let's begin at the first one. We're going to start with the assumption that we just have truth. And if we have one true statement, um, same as having, well, it, by the Cartesian nature, we can sort of duplicate this up and say that there are, there are three true bubbles floating around. Um, so this, this is equivalent to the statement that, in fact, this is an equality. Um, the, the meat of these things is just true, so these two diagrams are equivalent. Now, we're going to use facts 2, 3, and 4 locally on this diagram here. So fact 1 says that it is true that David works at CI for some salary. So we can replace this true value here with that statement. And so on. It is also true that Ryan works at CI for some salary. And it is also true that CI is a small company. So this diagram applies this diagram. So they're disconnected, right? The, the, everything's disconnected in that picture there. Right. Um, these, are, these are three separate facts. The... OK. So next, we're going to apply our lemma to this thing, because we see three copies of CI floating around. And we know that because CI just represents one company, if I'm saying that this is CI, and this is CI, and this is CI, and we're, we're, we're taking the same instance of CI. So doing that, and using this locality fact again, we can replace those three copies with a one branching copy of CI. So, so we're down here. So we said that David and Ryan work at a small company CI. Um, but we can relax that and just say not only that David and Ryan work at some small company CI, at the small company CI, they just work at some small company. Right? So using the co-Cartesian nature, of, of the functor, we can relax this and just say that if we forget the company, it's still, we still have a fact. So this, just a, this again, this is a David and Ryan, both work at some small company. And now, using, again, locality, if zooming in on this diagram that says that two people work at some small company, we, we have this fact one, which tells us that when two people work at small company, they are acquainted. So replacing this with acquainted, we proved that David and Ryan are acquainted. And, and this completes the proof of our, our golf theorem.